TSOS 1911s. This is the B9R from TSOS. This is a single stack 9mm handgun. In today's video, I'm gonna show you why I had it cut, who I had it cut by, and the accessories I chose to put on it. So let's go to the range and shoot it. The B9R from TSOS. So before I get too far in the video and telling you who cut this gun and why I chose this mounting plate, this light switch, and this weapon light, let me tell you about what we do here at RDR. We're a soft goods manufacturer. We specialize in plate carriers, placards, chest rigs, a full line of nylon belt, EDC belts, K9 gear, and of course, the fine holster mods, which fit this single stack 1911. All of which you can find on our website at rdrgear.com. The B9R. So this pistol, I needed a 1911 to test fit the 1911 modified holsters that we send out. And so I reached out to TSOS, they sent us out the B9R. Uh, this is the same gun we've already reviewed once before. It is a nine millimeter versus 45. I needed something inexpensive, simple that I could get an RMR cut done to it, get a Trigicon plate, sights, and then weapon light, and make sure that I had a pistol that was close as possible to the end user pistol, and it would give us a variety of changing some of the red dots out on the gun. So when I was looking for someone to cut up the pistol, I found Dual Hammer on Instagram. I saw a picture of a TSOS Raider that they had done and that looked just super clean. So I reached out to those guys and said, hey, would you like to do a collaboration on this pistol build? And they're absolutely, you know, so they basically donated all the machine work and just had me pay for parts, plate and sight, super cool. So that's how we ended up getting the Trigicon RMR plate, fiber optic front sight, and I chose to go I just had an extra turbo in around, but the hard thing to find when it's light was the DG switch. And the DG switch is kind of an older activation. There were two different models of this thing um, out there, but this is the newer version of the two. And what this is, is we all know you can activate the weapon light from the trigger guard here, right? And just so you guys at home, guns clear and safe, no magazine in the pistol. So you can activate here, you can push down for momentary or constant, and then push for momentary. Well, the momentary now is done with the DG switch here. The switch basically replaces the rear tail cap of the weapon light, travels down the trigger guard, and then stops in front. It's kind of got a little bit of spring bounce to it. This is more of a heat shrink type material here that covers the activation and all the electronics that go to the light. But once you grip the pistol, your middle finger is now what's activating the light, right? So based on how you grip that gun, you can still get a very good clean grip, relax the middle finger, bring the gun back, middle finger back on the gun and it activates the light. This is a very popular addition to a lot of guns in the California market. I get a lot of guys who hit me up for Safarland holsters that request this switch. It's not gonna fit a lot of the newer RDS holsters out there, but the 2011, 1911 mods that we do, it does fit those. They are built, still built for them. So you can add these to your gun. It's just finding one. Uh, this was the last one in stock, I think at LA Police Gear when I got it. So that's definitely a tougher one to find. You can find them for Glocks, MMPs, SIGs, et cetera. But this one here for the 1911 was definitely a tough one to find. So gun went to dual hammer. What, the cool part about working with those guys was I sent them this slide. The transaction was super fast. They did amazing work. The machine work is phenomenal. When I got the gun back, it originally had an RMR HD on here. It just looked weird on the, on the skinnier pistol, so I put the RMR back on. When I got the gun back, they witness marked the screws and basically bore side of the gun, and I just took it to the range after I put it, got a gun back together, and it shot perfect. So I was very impressed with the level of service on the overall build itself. Only the other thing I did was I took some old TRP grips, added them to this gun, um, and that's pretty much it. If you guys don't know much about the B9R, it is a five inch government pistol, single stack, nine mil handgun. It does come in 45. They do make this in stainless in 45 as well, which we've reviewed also. Um, this is the blacked out model. The only gripe I think I have with this gun, I would have loved for the trigger and the barrel to be black. But man, if you're looking for an inexpensive, I think these are 
around 469 to 500 bucks, depending on where you shop. I've seen them well under 500 bucks, so you can find them if you look. This pistol, if you want a nine mil kind of just fun range, 1911, this is nothing right home about, right? You guys, this is a very good entry level gun, or if you wanna get a gun you wanna tweak on and tune on to kind of do your own thing and upgrade your own parts, this is a great option to look at. So SDS has been a great support of the channel. They have several companies under their umbrella, the TSOS brand, SDS brand, the Military, Military Armament Corporation, which is the Mac um, product line. So they have some really cool MP5s coming as well as a very budget-friendly 2011. So we have some of those guns coming. We'll be getting more products in the future to showcase on the channel. If you guys like what you see here, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. It'll let you know the next time we upload a video. Until next time, be well, take care. Mm -hmm.